Many Myanmar migrant workers have to live without real legal protection because they cannot afford the inflated fees charged by some agents for nationality verification. Moreover, many of them have been treated unfairly by employers. Joshua Lin, the Samut Sakon Location Coordinator of the Migrant Justice Program, said all the fees related to the process, in fact, should not exceed 2,000 baht per person. But it has been found that most workers pay at least 5,500 baht. He has also worked for the Human Rights and Development Foundation, or HRDF. He said about 700,000 to 800,000 Myanmar people have completed the nationality verification process in Thailand and become registered migrant workers who are entitled to many legal rights and protection. But many other migrant workers have no chance to get such protection because they cannot scrape up the fees. The actual fee were higher than the authorities priced list because most employers could not arrange nationality verification on their own and usually turned to agencies familiar with the process. Now there are more than 90 such agencies across the country, a drastic increase from 12 a few years ago. A source said many employers who had tried to arrange nationality verification on their own had run into red tape and several other obstacles. The source said those agencies can do it so smoothly because they bribe officials. Of the 5,500 baht paid by each worker, 2,000 baht was for legitimate fees for authorities, 1,000 baht or more for the agency, and the rest for tea money. Only after nationality verification is completed can workers be issued Myanmar passports and exercise their rights as registered migrant workers. Some Myanmar workers have complained that some Myanmar officials are taking advantage of them by making them pay a higher fee. However, Police Captain Tin Tun of Myanmar's Home Affairs Ministry said the lack of transparency is becoming less of a problem. His team is solving the problems of workers as relatives. According to the HRDF, many Myanmar workers have complained about unfair compensation paid by their employers. A man from Sukai region in Myanmar lost his hand and part of his arm when a machine crushed them three years ago while he worked at a plastic factory in Samutsa Khan. Lin said he was given only 95,000 baht in compensation for his severed right hand, although he deserved 300,000 baht according to labor laws. According to the foundation, three workers with missing limbs lodged complaints to the foundation about unfair compensation per month. The Nation and Eleven Media reported from Samutsa Khan.